Hey guys, today I'm going to be showcasing our new version 2 of the Butte Loudness Suite. After hearing our user feedback, we have reworked the user interface to provide a cleaner and more accessible experience. I don't know how much you need. Thank you. At the top of the plugin, we now display the preset selection. This is where the user can choose a loudness standard to work towards, such as Spotify, or can use a custom preset that I will explain how to make in just a minute. So Beside the preset right. selection, we now have an additional drop-down menu <laughs> for choosing and displaying the desired channel configuration. Really if I could get this eliminates having to navigate to the plugin settings to change this, creating a smoother, faster workflow for the user. The readings rectangle at the top right is now more spacious, allowing for greater clarity. The largest reading you can see is the integrated loudness reading. It is the measurement of the overall loudness over the entire duration of the audio. Underneath the integrated loudness is the relative integrated loudness reading. It displays the difference between the current overall loudness and the target loudness value. When the difference is larger than the preset's tolerance, it will be read with an arrow either facing up or down depending if the audio is louder or quieter than the target value. When within the tolerance range, it will turn green and display a circle to indicate this. The range reading at the top right shows the loudness range over the entire program. The higher the number, the more dynamic it is. It will also display unstable if the program has ran for less than a minute. At the bottom right, we have the dynamic range reading. This displays the difference between the loudest and quietest part in the audio in dB. Down the right hand side, we display the four loudness readings. True peak, showing the absolute ceiling of the audio. Short term, the loudness value over the last three seconds. Momentary, the loudness value over the last 400 milliseconds and RMS, the average level of the audio in dBFS. As you can see, hovering over any of these readings will highlight it on the graph and can also be clicked to hide or show. Further down, we now have a display settings panel for customising what the meters and readings are displaying. The meter switch will change the meters to display either the true peak value for each channel. This is particularly useful if the user wants a clearer analysis of what each individual channel's true peak reading is. Or the four loudness readings for all channels. True peak, short term, momentary and RMS. When displaying only true peak and the limiter is enabled, an additional meter will appear to display the gain reduction. The reading switch will toggle between live readings or the current maximum value. And the scale switch will flip the readings to either display the absolute scale or the relative scale of the current target values determined by the chosen preset. After popular request, we are now given the user the ability to adjust the limiter configuration. When the limiter is turned on, a control panel will appear displaying three controllable parameters. Pre-gain, auto-release factor, and a drop-down box for choosing a release curve type. The three curve types available are natural, transparent and smooth. Using the sidebar menu at the top right, we are able to access the plugin settings window. It is here that the user can see the detailed specifications of each preset as well as create their own user presets. To do this, you can select any of the three user presets from the preset selection drop-down list. This now gives access to change all the settings available. Aside from this, we are also able to create our own custom alerts for each reading by adjusting the sliders minimum and maximum positions. And we can turn the tooltips on or off as desired. Back to the sidebar menu, we also have the ability to save and load sessions to and from disk. This is useful if the user wants to send notes about the loudness within a track to a production team, or you wish to load the same session back up on another project. It is worth noting that these buttons are only available when the session is paused. There is also a CSV export option that will export a CSV file showing all the notes about the current loudness information of the audio. Alongside the changes made to the user interface, we have also improved performance and support for many DAWs. We have updated the limiting algorithm, just like in Butte Limiter 2, and we have improved the meter fallback time to accommodate to the digital IEC 60268-17 standard. Finally, just like in Butte Limiter 2, we can resize the window to create a sleek vertical view to show the readings in meters, and also collapse the window into a compact view for an even smaller, less intrusive window size. The Butte Loudness Analyzer has also been updated with all the same changes mentioned, 
except from the limiter, as this is not included in this plugin. I hope you enjoyed this roundup of the new Butte Loudness Suite 2, and you can download a trial at signumaudio.com.